Hey everyone, Michael here, and I just wanted to address this video that came out by MVG. I've been hit up by a number of folks that's been asking me, why is he promoting a paid service from a scene member that wants to charge you to access this UWP app? Does MVG even know that the people behind this hack are just adding your email to a private application. So this video is about Xbox One emulators that run in retail mode, that now these are back again after Microsoft took them down a couple of months ago. One thing you will note is, is that if you do watch this video, you're not going to be able to do absolutely anything with it. Over on his video, he even links to the Patreon which is right here. And so if we jump over to the Patreon, so if you want access to their private retail uploads, you've got to pay them $2 a month. And note that what it says right here, it says, note that you may not receive immediate access to current uploads as email access must be managed manually before they are released. We'll get back to that in just a second. Now, if you do go to their homepage, you may think, okay, well, maybe I can just click right here. This is what you'll currently see, and that is because the app is already down again. This link goes to a goes to the store, which shows absolutely nothing. Now, if you were to give them the $2, well, then what they will do is they'll add you to their private retail upload with your email address, and you can still download it. But the takeaway right now is, is that this is no brand new hack, or this is no brand new exploit that is currently out there. This is the same exact thing from months ago, and no, they haven't found any other new way to get retail apps onto your Xbox One. It's still the same process as it was before, except for this time, the developer needs your email address in order to add you to this application where you can install it onto your Xbox One. This is kind of similar to like test flight for iOS. Now, one other thing you'll see right here in this same exact thread was, was that we have found the apps are currently unavailable. And then it states the package is currently being processed. And well, I can't see anything else because, well, they want you to pay $2 a month. You know, you may be thinking, you know, are you just beating up on MBG for this? And the answer is, is that when you have a channel of this many subscribers. I mean, keep in mind, I'm a channel that's got 12,000 subscribers. He has this type of power in that he hit 80,000 views on this just so far. That is a whole lot of misinformation to be spreading out there to the scene. As I really stated right here, I really feel like this was just a bunch of clickbait and it was a misleading title. And so just to wrap this up, if you do want to run these UWP emulators on your Xbox One, then the best bet would be to go over to Microsoft's site and then register as a developer. Once you are registered as a developer, then you can submit the UWP apps to your own Xbox One console and you will never have any problems whatsoever running those applications. The developer count cost right here 19 US dollars and do keep in mind that this is a one-time registration fee and no renewal is required. This is how I can run the apps today on my Xbox One and what you should do too. So I wouldn't worry with any of these sort of like silly retail applications or especially coming over here paying somebody. I mean, you could get a app developer account for $20 that lasts forever versus paying $2 a month to get something that's going to have all kinds of problems and constantly be taken back out of the Microsoft store. Anyway, I just wanted to shed my two cents on this. I hope this helped and I'll talk to you on the next one. Michael out.